This morning I'm going to speak about the mystery. Everybody say mystery. Mystery. They got things you cannot see with your eyes. They got things you cannot understand. They got things you can read, but you won't be able to understand it if you're not in spirit. If you are here, say amen. Amen. I say, the Lord says deep things. Deep mystery can be only understood by people who got the spiritual eyes. If your eyes is carnal, they got things you cannot understand. They got things you cannot even ask how it happened. How come a doctor said you're not going to have a baby? And there is a man of God only say, I declare you have a baby if you have the baby. Science! Science sometimes has no answer, but God got the answer. I will speak this morning in Matthew 25, verse 1 to 10. Because God is about to reveal a mystery. Only God can reveal a mystery. Hidden mystery. Hidden mystery if you do not have hidden wisdom. No wisdom, no power. They got things you cannot understand. You may read it, but you don't understand it. Why? Because the Apostle Paul says, carnal man does not understand everything. How come a man does not see you, never see you, never sleep with you, and he knows everything about you? How? Carnal man cannot understand that. Only if you are under spirit, you can understand it. So this morning, I'm going to speak about a mystery of the 10 version. It's a mystery. Whenever there is a parable, for you to understand the parable, you need to have the spirit. No spirit, you won't be able to understand it. Jesus, to answer the question of the disciples regarding his return, Master, when will you come back? Tell me the sign where you will return. And Jesus said, let me go ahead and use ten women. That's why I love women. Because always when you want to get something done quick, better, use women. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? Jesus Show me how and when you will return. If you read Matthew 24, 25. And Jesus used this parable. Then Matthew, the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to look, ten. Look at this. He used, because when you speak about the kingdom of God, you, ha, you speak about the highest place. When you speak about the kingdom of God, you speak about the priority. So he said, let me see. Talking about my return. Talking about when, how. Let me go ahead and liken the kingdom of God with women. And he used this parable. Shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps. Now look at this. Everybody say ten. Ten. All of them. When I'm speaking this morning about the virgin. I'm speaking about the believers. I'm speaking about someone already accept the Lord as their Savior. Someone who came, Lord, I cannot do it in my own. I give up my right. I give it to you. Someone say, Lord, I surrender all to you. So, Jesus said, I'm going to speak about my return. For you to understand my return, I'm going to use a mystery. The mystery of the ten versions. It's a parable. And the parable cannot be understood by carnal men. It's only if you have spiritual eyes, you can understand what's going on. And he said, you know what? The kingdom of God, this is my kingdom. The kingdom where my dad is the chief. If you speak about my return, if you want to know how and when I will return, he said, I'm going to use this parable, 10 versions. The tin version. He used lamp. 
And he said, not only limp, because when you see limp, you understand there is something else coming. If you are here, say amen. amen. Verse, this verse he says, I will use 10 version. And the 10 version, I will go ahead and liken. I'm going to show them they have lamp. What you have lamp? I will speak to you what lamp means. When you have the lamp, you need to have oil on it. If you have a lamp, no oil. So what you need, what you do with the lamp? If you are, he say amen. amen. So he said, my kingdom is a kingdom that not everybody can understand. He says, when I fight with the other kingdom, only, let me tell you, when you represent the kingdom of God and the devil fight with you, who is going to lose? You're going to win. Why? Because you represent the kingdom of God. Amen. In Daniel 2 verse 22, look at this. it says. Daniel 2 verse 22. It says, hide and think. What does it say, daughter? He reveals deep and secret things. Now, deep and secret things cannot be understood by anybody. You can't even read it in the world. But for you to understand it, you need to receive the revelation. Everybody say revelation. Revelation. It needs to be revealed. If you're doing something in the darkness, God can reveal it now. Yeah. You don't understand what I'm saying. That's why if you do not want God to reveal it, don't come in this place. Because as soon as you put your feet in this place, God is about to reveal your secret. Yeah. Lift your hand before God. Lift your hand before God. Why? Because God is a God who reveals the secret. He says everything you've been doing last week. He says everything you're doing last week, yesterday, years ago. God can even come back to the first day you were born. Because he is God. He says the deep and the secret thing can be revealed only by God. He's going to, let me tell you, bon Dieu can be the business you are God can put your business out. Let me say it again. God can get your secret. What you know that is secret, God can go ahead and put it right now, today, now, open. So, let's read Matthew 25, verse 2 again. Verse 1. Let's see verse 1. Because there is a mystery behind this parable. I want you to know this morning, in 22 minutes, what is the mystery you have behind the 10 version? It's not the first time you speak, you heard about this message. But this morning, the Lord downloaded this message to me. During my birthday. As a matter of fact, thank you. A lot of you give me gifts. A lot of you. I, I thought I was not loved here. Because I, I was about to cool. To I received so many uh, gifts. I still don't open them yet. <laughs> but how many? How many hands I have? Only two, right? But why you give me so many watches? You know I, I don't like watches, right? I don't wear watch. But this morning the Lord says, there is one you need to wear. <laughs> don't be jealous. I'm going to wear the other. But today the Lord says, wear this one. I like it. They got my name on it. I'm not going to say who gave it to me. Oh, uh, you know. So many blessings I received. Now, one, most, one of the most gifts I received, your prayers. Your prayers. When you honor me with your prayers, you know, it's better than you give me money, you give me gifts. Because I need your prayers. Now, let's go back to the message. On the day of my birthday, the 27th, the Lord says, I want you to speak to those people about the 10 version. He says, all those people who's going to listen to this message, their life will be changed forever. There is a mystery behind this parable. There is a mystery behind the 10 version. Spirit break out right now. This parable is come from Jesus. The 10 version. 
So when you have this parable coming into your life, whatever you have in your life, won't you need to be broken. Whatever stops you to move forward, the Lord says, I am going to what God can break it. Oh, Shakaba. So what do you say, daughter? Now, five of them were wise. Remember, he said the kingdom of God, talking about the ten version, he says ten. Ten version. Ten believers. They have lamp. All of you have lamp. All of us were here. If you are watching, all of us had lamp. Number two. When you have left, that means you are qualified to receive the groom. I say, because you have left, you are eligible. It does not mean all of you are going to make it, but you are eligible. You are qualified. You are qualified to meet the bridegroom. Because he will be back anyway. You want it or not? He has to come back. He called them. Ten. All of them coming. And he said, oh, look at this. He says, right? What is this? Now, everybody say now. Now, five of them were wise and five were foolish. Now, what made them wise? What made them foolish? Okay. What made them foolish? Okay. I have a lamp. I am a believer. I am ready to receive, to meet the king. But five of them have left. What make them foolish? Verse 3. Look at Those this. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil. What? Only foolish men can have only a lamp without oil. So what are you going to do with the lamp? No oil. He called you foolish. Why 
call you foolish? Because you have the lamp. Nothing on it. You can do nothing with the lamp. Number four. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Okay, if you are wise, show me you are wise. Not only say, I am a virgin, but you need to demonstrate that you are a virgin who is wise. I have the lamp and I have the oil on it. That qualifies not only for me to meet God, to meet you know, the king, but also I will be ready when he's coming. Hey. This is the difference. That's the difference. You are foolish. Why? Lamp only. What are you going to do your lamp? I am wise. I have the lamp, but I know when the time is coming, I will use it. For me to use it, I have to get all on it. Yes. Number six. Verse six. Go ahead, daughter. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. What? <laughs> they were slept. So that means all of them tired, all the thin, weary, going through tough time. They have the same experience. They're going through the same plague. They're going through the same COVID-19. But not everybody can be here. They're going through the same issues. They're going through the same market. Oh, Shagaba. They can go to Wendy Dixie, but they cannot come in the church. Why? Because some of us are foolish, some of us are wise. They got things that make you wise, they got things that make you foolish. This is because during the time it's been delayed. What is going to make you qualify as a wise? Time. Everybody say time. Time will tell you if you persevere. Time will tell you it doesn't matter you get stormed, but where you are when you get stormed. Are you moving? I say circumstances, classes can shake you, but because you are wise, you still stay where you are. Okay, verse 6. What is it? Verse 6. And at midnight, a uh, cry was wait, heard. Hey, wait. Okay. Midnight. What midnight represents? Everybody get a midnight in their life. A midnight is a turning point. A midnight is a transfer. Let me tell you. Is a transfer from the wrong to good. Is a, a midnight is a transfer from the old glory to the new glory. Now, if you, if you are here this morning, you, you. If you are watching, you are here this morning, you are in the new glory. Wait, not everybody is qualified for the new glory. They have the lamp, but they cannot go to the new glory. Some people, they can only watch in you. They can, because let me tell you, when you put your feet here in this place, you don't understand what I'm saying. When you put your feet in this place, I say, Favor is waiting for you. I say, once you say, let me come to King Jesus Universal Ministry, as soon as you put your feet right here. Am, am I speaking to someone this morning? Look at midnight represent from the darkest to the light. It's going to be a transition. The transition is done already. But midnight is going to move you to the new glory. Some people saw the new glory, they cannot enter. Why? Because they only get the lamp. You have the lamp, but there is no oil on it. Look at this. The people of Israel, some of them, they saw huh? Canaan. Many, many people. Israel, 
They were in the desert, but they never made it to Canaan. Why? Because they were in the desert, but they never made it to Canaan. Why? Why? Because they don't have no oil. I want to help you this morning. I only in nine minutes. I want to help you. Are you ready? Yes. So you ready? Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Psalm 119, verse 105, if you are ready. Psalm 119, verse 105. Look at this. What's the lamp represent? Your word is a lamp unto my feet. What? And I say, light. we spoke about lamp. Everybody say lamp. Lamp. It, 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 it didn't say the lamp is light, the word. It says, your lamp your is what? Word. Everybody say, the lamp is my word. The lamp is my word. It's your word. So, the ten version, all of them got the word. All of them, disciple. All of them go into house of peace. All of them, students of the Bible. All of them, Maybe in the choir, pastors, prophets, all of them. They are qualified to meet the king. But when the time is coming at midnight, what's going to happen? They say, oh, something is missing. Something is missing. To get access to the king, you must have the all. The lamp represents the word of God. What is the word? What you have every day in your hand, this is the word of God. As I'm speaking right now, this is the word of God. You get the word, but you have no lamp. Look at us. God never sent a man without the spirit. You will never be able to see the king without the spirit. They all represent the spirit. Everybody say spirit. Ephesians 1, verse 13 and 14 will tell you that. The word alone is not enough. No, the word enough, what it says, Ephesians 1, 13. Ephesians 1, 13. In him you also trusted. After you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. You see the word. All of you received the word. Go ahead. In whom also having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit now, of promise. Now, for you to understand the word, you need to be sealed by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You can be a good teacher. You can be a charismatic teacher. You can be in Miami, you have thousands of people, you get the word, but no spirit. You can be in New Jersey. You can be, I don't know, where in Haiti, you have the word, but you have no spirit. If you are, you say amen. amen. He says, the word without the Holy Spirit is nothing. It's a waste of time. You won't be able to see the king without the all, without the spirit. I don't say it. He said that. Isaiah 48, verse 16. Look at this. Access, let me tell you, Isaiah 48, verse 16. What is it? He says, Lord will send you not only with the word, but also with the spirit. What is it, Lord? Come near me, come to me. Hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there. Lord, and now, look at this. He says, I am not a liar. God says, I am not a liar. If I say something, it's true. He says, at the beginning, I am God. Everybody say, he's God. He's God. He's God. He cannot lie. He says, you have the word, but what about the spirit? He says what, daughter? And now the Lord God and his spirit have sent me. What? To be sent out, you need to have his spirit. If you were, let me tell you, if you have the word, you don't have their spirit, you're doing witchcraft. I say, if you have the word, no spirit, you know what you're doing? You're doing religion. You're doing association. Can you associate with the malefactor? 
There's a, uh, uh, an association of wicked men. I was praying in the 28. I was in the hotel and I was praying. The Lord showed me. Look at this place. Not here. He give me the address. Like right now, God will give me address of everybody right here now. Yeah. He said, look at this. He said, there is a place. There is a woman who is pregnant. And that woman who is pregnant, he got her husband doing witchcraft against the church. He says, look at in the east of Homestead. East of Homestead. Where is Homestead East? This way, right? This way. I was praying. He said, I will give you the description. He said, they got two men in the house. Two men. All of them were here. He said, and the two men, one of them is doing witchcraft. He says, I'm going to give you documentation. His wife is pregnant. I said, I don't have nobody who is pregnant here. I said, probably they left already. I said, okay. So let me tell you, when you have their spirit, God will show things in advance. Yes! So why? For you to block the enemy. Yes. Sometimes you need to go ahead and expose and block the enemy. Yes. Two years ago, one year ago, I believe, I was in Ghana and the hotel. The Lord says, when you come back soon, I want you to change the way you used to pray. And that's why the Lord gave me this book right here. Now, let me tell you, are you persecuted? I say, are you accused? Is the devil after you? Yes. Use this book, okay? Yes. He said, you need to declare a warfare. He said, number one, you're not going to go until those who are one of you, because sometimes you got people around one of you, they are the one who's going to stop you moving. Say Lord, he says, Lord, everybody say, Lord, Lord. Expose, my enemy. expose my enemy. Because for you to understand your enemy, they need to be exposed. Yes. That, that was my prayer. Yes. That was my prayer. Sometimes, if you see family members that used to be hanging out with you, they are looking for your weakness to put you down. Yes. Say, Lord, expose them. Yes. You won't be able to get your breakthrough until the enemy are exposed. Say, Lord, expose him now. Lord, now. You don't understand what I'm saying. Your business cannot grow. You cannot get a good job. You cannot get a big... Let me tell you. You cannot get a breakthrough. Say, Lord, expose him now. Expose him now. Oh, my goodness. I'm done not serious. Let me tell you. Isaiah 48 verse 16. It says, if you have the word without the spirit, you're doing witchcraft. You pray God, witchcraft. That's why let me tell you. Don't waste time to pray for the enemy. What you have to do? Lord, backfire. Every word they say, Lord, yes. say Lord, Lord. Anytime, anytime they say my name, backfire. Lord, say Lord, say Lord, any declaration, any declaration, any decree, any decree against my house, against my house, backfire. What they do? They keep praying, right? Backfire. And every night they keep praying. Backfire. Every three o'clock they pray. Backfire. What they have to do? They have to pray for their family. Uh -huh. Pray for their business. Uh -huh. Pray for their work too. But whenever they say your name, backfire. No spirit. That's what people say. How come this guy 
Who does this guy mean? And the pandemic, all the churches closed and his church is full. Spirit. This is what they say. They say, oh, she left. He left. No, they've been exposed. They have to leave. Hallelujah. 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 This is what the enemy say. Jezebel left. No, Jezebel was exposed. Yeah. Exposed. The enemy is not smart. If you are smart, he will know the prophet of God came here and he got the goom and the goom. What is doing? So what? When you are exposed, you cannot stay. No. Oh, let me tell you. Satan. This Satan. Satan. Say Satan. Satan can go on leave no more. He can give you a book right in the hand. It will write in your hand. He can give you a Bible. But without a spirit. The spirit he has an evil spirit anyway. You don't understand what I'm saying. Satan can give you the word. You, you are qualified to receive the bread. Cool, right? You have the word. You have the word, but you have no spirit. Yes, you come in the church, I give you the microphone. What I'm doing, I'm waiting for you to receive the spirit because it takes time for you to receive the spirit. It takes time. Yes, oh yeah. You are whatever, but you get the word. Is that a mistake? You can sleep in the church, you have the word. Is that a mistake? But are you qualified to receive the men? Because Satan can get the word. How do you know that? No! Satan said, Jesus, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down because it is written. You see? You can cut all the verses and the Bible say, I am going to pray against Pastor Ilu. From Genesis to Apocalypse. Guess what happened? Backfire. When you have the word without the spirit, you have legalism. You have association. Yes, you meet, you pray, you have an association of wicked men. You can meet. You can meet. You can sing all the hymns in the book. Just as an association of wicked men. God calls you wicked. The Bible says the money of the wicked will be transferred to the just. So that means when you have the lamp, it does not mean you are going to meet the king. You will hear the king. You will know the king was in this area. But you won't be able you know, to get why. Because you have no spirit. I will finish tonight. Because this is a hidden mystery of God, this revelation.